So you might be in a position where for some reason your PSVR headset, the games and applications are just not loading. Now, what does this mean? Well, sometimes when you're actually loading up your specific games or you know, whatever applications you have on your headset, you might be running into some random issues. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that any wires and anything connected to your specific headset are completely connected to your headset, you know, perfectly fine. Sometimes you might be running into some random issues or your device is just where your device is just not able to connect to the wires or whatever else you're using. So just go ahead and make sure that your wires, everything around your device are completely working fine. And as long as that's the case, then you should be good to go. Now, another thing you're going to want to try doing is making sure that your headset doesn't have any wires protruding from it either that are supposed to be connected. So double check that and then you should be good to go from there. Now, another thing you're going to want to try doing is you want to go ahead and unplug everything from your headset if it's still not working from your console. Give it a few seconds and then go ahead and plug everything back in. Sometimes if you try to do that, that might end up fixing the problem too. And that's another thing you can try doing on top of that. Now, if that's still not working, you may want to go ahead and just make sure that the PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4, whatever you're using, you may want to make sure that's actually you know plugged in and still working perfectly fine. Sony also recommends you that you actually connect your VR headset to the actual you know processor unit. If you have that capability of doing so, that's another option you should have. And you may just want to make sure that your TV or your monitor is set to display to the correct input. And as long as those things are good, you should be good to go. If you're still having issues, you may want to go ahead and just make sure that your VR headset is updated, or you may want to just update your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 that you have. And that could very well end up fixing the problem too. So those are pretty much the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.